I'm David Rams, welcome back to another video. I've made a few videos about Sadhguru calling out his bullshit opinions on animals that he likes to spread to millions of people, enabling them to, you know, continue abusing animals, but I've never actually shown an example of what I believe to be a truly enlightened guru and what they would say about the animals. Well, that day is now here. Thich Nhat Hanh is a 94-year-old Vietnamese Buddhist Zen master, a global spiritual leader and an activist. He's known around the world for his powerful teachings on mindfulness and peacefulness. Martin Luther King called him an apostle of peace and non-violence. Tick believes that through mindfulness we can learn to live happily in the present moment and that's the only way to truly develop peace in oneself and in the world. This is all good and well but Tick talks a lot about peace. Is he consistent with his peace? Is he also promoting peace for the other animals or just for the humans like Sadhguru? Well let's find out. Uh, there are films made uh, about the suffering of animals. If you have uh, watched these films you see uh, the suffering of the chicken, the suffering of uh, the cows. You, you would not like to eat uh, chicken, eat um, eggs, uh, drink milk, eat cheese anymore, because uh, raising cows and raising chicken create a lot of suffering. Now people say, I love my food, so you love animals, so you put them in the food. Even I've seen people talking to the chicken and all very nicely, and next week they'll eat them up <laughs> I'm sure the next thing is the bulls are drawing the cart. If it's a male, we make him work that way, if it's a female, we milk her, it's good. Anything that's not useful to human societies, have we allowed them to live? Are we in that kind of condition? Hmm, okay, it's pretty tough to see a difference between these two here, right? One of these two spiritual leaders laughs and jokes about the suffering and abuse of chickens, heartily chuckling <laughs> at the idea of people who love their chickens and then the next day slit their throats and eat them, and says cows need to be worked by using them in the fields or manipulating their bodies for their milk. And the other spiritual leader sincerely and calmly explains that chickens and cows suffer for milk eggs and all the other products that come from them and that we shouldn't eat those things because of that. I'm finding it hard to decide but maybe you could help me. Which of these two sounds like the more peaceful option? We should eat and drink in such a way that can preserve uh, compassion in our heart. Uh, we should consume in such a way that help or reduce the suffering of living beings. Plants are as sensitive as any other creature. Only thing is they don't scream. They do scream, you don't hear. That's all. If you must eat non-vegetarian food, the fish is the best thing to eat because it is the first form of life on this planet. So we have a choice between living with compassion in our hearts, consuming in a way that helps to reduce the suffering of living beings, or we can try to justify the suffering of animals by making pseudo-scientific claims that plants feel pain and scream. Our car. <laughs> oh, oh, me skin for the eyes. They burn. Oh, for me. <laughs> And telling people to eat fish if they're going to eat any animals because they are the first life on the planet. That's a real tough decision. To be vegan is not perfect, but uh, it, it helps reduce uh, suffering of animals. So whether you eat a plant or an animal or whatever, it is still violence. Tick makes an effort to avoid animal suffering by being vegan. Sadhguru makes an effort to justify using the products of animal abuse by claiming eating plants is also violence. <sighs> Once again, really tough to decide which of these is the more peaceful option. Sadhguru just says what will appeal to the widest audience. He takes the middle road on animal suffering because he views everything through his own eyes. He views everything through human eyes. Tick sees things from the animal's perspective, which leads him to the logical conclusion that animal abuse is not justified, and that we should be vegan. I don't hate sad guru. I hate bullshit. And I especially hate bullshit when it's irresponsibly spread to millions of people. When it's selfish, human-centric bullshit about the animals, designed to make people feel good about their animal abusive habits. If Sadhguru truly believes in peace, compassion, and all the shit he claims to believe in, then he has to be consistent. He has to stop funding 
and stop encouraging others to fund violent, abusive industries like the dairy industry. Don't be a hypocrite like Sadhguru. Be consistent like Thich Nhat Hanh. Respect for animals means not paying for the abuse and manipulation of animals. I would happily discuss this with Sadhguru personally. If you want to see that happen, comment on his videos, inbox him, do whatever you can to get this video in front of him. Email his organization, email his team, comment on his YouTube videos, private message his Instagram, tweet at him and send him this video. The chances of him having a conversation with me or even seeing this video are extremely slim. But who knows? Maybe it could happen. If you want to see it happen, you've got to get this video in front of him. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.